I get a person knocking on my door. It was a neighbor from upstairs and he came to me and said like, hey, it's 10 p.m. It's time to go to sleep. You know that we're doing this daily challenge thing and I'm committed to doing it. I know last week I said that I would do it, but I didn't. Vlogging and working and being a person doesn't go together. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do a Q&A because Q&As are very fun. I can interact with you guys. I can give you important information and also it's very easy to edit. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Questions from Instagram. Dimitri Matthew. Are we gonna have beer in Munich? First week here. 100% men under the condition that you need to do a COVID test. And then beers on me too. Kara Bort, by the way, pretty cool guy. Follow him if you're looking for electric boards. He does them by hand. So I'm gonna shout out his, his Instagram account. What's next on your list of fun things to do in Munich? We're gonna go and pet alpacas. I found this through the interwebs. So the alpaca thing is gonna be the highlight of my life. Yeah. Joa Victors, okay, I know this guy actually, the Brazilian guy. How to make friends in Germany? Okay, that's a good question. So the best way that I feel that you can make friends is by doing sports. How can I put it this way? Germans are not very sociable on the street. They're not gonna be like, hey, yeah, 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 what's happening? Like, as I said before, they're like pineapples, really hard on the outside, sweet on the inside. The best way is by just getting on a Facebook group and then looking for like for example the local places where people play tennis uh, whatever type of sport there you are kind of like already forced to get to know each other somehow the people that are gonna be there are probably gonna be good people because they're healthy people they're you know people that are doing the same sports that you like so right there I would say that's the best advice that I have hope that works for you but you always have me dude What's your favorite meal? That's from my sister, actually. My favorite meal is pasta, man. I cannot stop eating my pasta. Axel Yao asks, where are you from? Venezuela. Caracas. I speak Spanish. Hola, que tal? Uh, Pat, why did you move to Munich? I did a video, a whole video about it. The best way that I can answer this, my sister was living here and I was like, wow, Germany is cool. I mean, speaking German speaking Germany would be cool. Germany is pretty good and I could learn a lot from German people and stuff like this. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, why not? And I really like the idea that none of my friends knew how to speak German. So actually it was a very childish decision. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna speak German. Nobody will understand. Well, okay, so quick cut. I hope the wind is out there, but I just wanted to do this outside uh, of my balcony. It's actually not a balcony. It's kind of like the edge of my window. <laughs> so I wanted to do it outside because the day is so good. And I wanted to share some positivity because weather here is always gray and today's blue so what's good I also had some extra questions that people wrote me the day after so I didn't want to discard them uh, yum great youtuber by the way just asking when are you uploading your next YouTube video today and tomorrow <laughs> every day baby <laughs> are you single uh, not anymore <laughs> okay Luisa Marie did the alpaca stole Timoteo's hair or did he stole the hair from the alpaca to be honest Timoteo stole the alpaca's look. Was there something about German culture that shocked you? One time I, I came the first month, I kind of like was like, I don't know, watching YouTube videos at 10 p.m. or something, or I was talking to a friend. I get a person knocking on my door. It was a neighbor from upstairs and he came to me and said like, hey, it's 10 p.m. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> Since then I have been traumatized. You cannot be loud here after 10 p.m. Okay, that's it. Back to Fernando from the past. Elisa Irem asked, what are your future plans on YouTube? Could they be shooting longer videos? Longer videos, yes. The thing about longer videos is like, you know, I want you guys to enjoy it, to be like, well, man, F Fernando was such a cool video. We want more and I don't want to take the liberty to say like, ah, I'm not going to cut this part down because it is less work. This video took me 12 hours to edit and it was a 20 minute long video, but I knew that I had the content to support it. If I don't have the content to support it, I feel really bad. And my plans are just keep going, getting better for sure. Okay, Mike Busta, dude, when are you gonna post? 
bro. How's your editor job going? Are you planning on making your own projects, short films or something like that? Yes, I'm doing my short films here on YouTube. I mean, that's the whole point of YouTube, I think, to keep sharing, keep creating. My editing job is going really well. It's not an editing job, it's a videographer job. That means that you do all the, all everything, basically. You do camera, editing, producing, sound, lighting. You do it all yourself. <laughs> I see your Mac. This guy and I, we go way, way back. I think when I had 50 subscribers. Any message to your Filipino fans? Dude, 100%, like, what's up? I just can say that Filipino fans are the super loyal and they're pretty cool friends. Man, love you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Hope that you're enjoying the vlog. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.